Roadside bombs are just one of the threats faced every day by our troops in Iraq. News Watch 16's Brandy Mang recently went to Iraq to spend time with some soldiers from our area. Tonight, Brandy shows us how these soldiers carry out the missions that make them proud to serve in Iraq. Soldiers with the Pennsylvania National Guard's 109th Infantry Unit are divided up into three camps in the western part of Iraq. You have about 550 at Al-Assad, about 150 are located at Ramadi, and about 100 are at Camp Craigador. Those stationed at the Al-Assad Air Base in the western part of Iraq are assigned to security details on and off the base. It's up to them to secure a road when a convoy is traveling. Preparation for security missions begins hours before the sun sets. By mid-afternoon, soldiers are gassing up the vehicles, stocking up on food and supplies should the mission last longer than expected. Once the sun sets and darkness fills the sky, that's when the soldiers head out on their mission. Convoy missions like this one in the Alambar province of western Iraq typically happen at night. The convoy could be transporting people, supplies, or vehicles. But regardless of the purpose, the National Guard members of the 109th Infantry are concerned with safety. Their mission is security. Right now we're checking out some new gravel piles. Could have IEDs in them, just making sure they're clear. This right here is Wadi 1. We're dismounting to clear it, looking for IEDs and mines. This video was taken by soldiers, willing to give us a small glimpse into what it's like on a midnight convoy. Part of their mission is clearing wadis, an area of land similar to what we would call a valley. Scouts move ahead of the convoy, making sure the route is clear of bombs and insurgents. This mission started at the Al-Assad Air Base in the western part of Iraq. It's heading to Ramadi, and then turning around and returning back to Al-Assad. In all, it's about a four and a half hour mission if all goes according to schedule. But the soldiers know anything is possible. We're approaching a fire on the side of the road, which we have no clue why it's there. Air patrols follow above, providing another set of eyes. <laughs> Wild dogs are one of many dangers that appear out of the night. On this mission, the moon helps light the way, but that's not the case on every convoy. Dirt paths and mounds of dirt create makeshift roads. At every wadi, every structure, soldiers get out and search the area. On this night, it's mission accomplished. Everyone safely returned to Al-Assad in a convoy without incident. Brandy Mang, Newswatch 16.